Also beim Riesklettern ist der große Unterschied zum, zum normalen Klettern. The big difference between crack climbing and normal climbing is that in a crack you have to apply pressure to the sides. There are different techniques for doing that. In climbing courses, I first show participants how it should be done and then let them have a go themselves. The idea is that one day they can apply what they have learned to a climb they have always wanted to do. That is the best feeling. Christian und die Maren. Christian and Maren told me they want to get better at climbing cracks. So, now it's your turn. You can do it easily. The Weiseriese was one of the first routes in Noschlag. The location is unique. There are hardly any climbing routes on these steep rocks, which are not extremely difficult. Maren is new to crack climbing and has made huge progress. Der Weiße Riese war eine richtig spannende Route. The Weiße Riese is a really cool route. I like the fact that it's so varied. That makes it interesting to climb. The first section's easy. Then comes the crack. Towards the end, it was pretty tough for me. Gewaltig, Maren, hey. Great, Maren, congratulations. Danke. Thanks. Good job, you almost had it on that last attempt. Das bedeutet auch für mich, dass ich ein neues Projekt habe. For me, it means that I have a new project to work on. Next time I come back here, I hope I'll be able to complete the Weisterisa. Richtig und brutal mutig. You climbed really well and with lots of courage. Thanks. Mein Ziel um, ist demnächst. My goal is to do more crack climbing soon. In two weeks, I'm going to the US for that. Vitus has shown me the basics. For example, how to deal with sections where cracks intersect. Learning the Piat technique was very important, as well as other things like how to secure the rope. It was good preparation. When climbing a crack, you have to make sure your body isn't directly beneath your hands, like it usually is when climbing. You have to have your hands on one side and your weight on the other. It takes a while to get the right feeling and for your body to do it automatically. On tough climbs, like the Weisserisse, your body's under stress and the moves are difficult. So you always have to remind yourself to keep your hands in the crack, but your weight on the other side. The Route Weisserisse was for me absolute highlight. The Weisserisse route was my highlight, and the best route I've climbed. It was cool with the new technique and the different sections. All in all, a really interesting challenge. <laughs>